Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Lies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In Leo and Gwen's Selim in room, Leo stated that his affair with Dimitri had to cease due to his friendship with Gwen. Dimitri was getting ready for Leo when Gwen walked in. Gwen inquired, What the bloody hell is going on here? Gwen inquired as to what had become of Dimitri's garments. Leo claimed that he pushed Dimitri to try on one of his bridal outfits as he dressed. Gwen was doubtful, claiming Leo's only desire was to see Dimitri in his underwear. Leo pretended that Gwen was correct and apologized to Dimitri. Gwen beamed as she announced that Dimitri will be her husband the next day. Dimitri left under the pretense of looking for a wedding outfit. As Leo turned away from the two, Dimitri kissed Gwen. Leo and Gwen shared a cake after Dimitri left. Gwen expressed her delight that Leo had changed his mind regarding Dimitri. Gwen said that she didn't think she'd be able to carry out the wedding without Leo's blessing. Gwen noticed that Leo was depressed. Gwen predicted that Leo would find an exceptional man who would love him as much as Dimitri loved her. Dimitri told himself at the Demura home that he could fake a marriage to Gwen in order to inherit his inheritance. Dimitri went on to say that he didn't see why he had to give up Leo. Theo and Kayla expressed their relief that Ada was alive outside the nurse's station at the hospital. Theo was concerned that Abe's forgetfulness would be permanent, and he felt responsible for Abe's condition due to karma. Theo recalled that when Ciara had lost her memory years before, the two of them had almost resumed their relationship. Thea reasoned that Whitley and Abe had experienced the same thing. There was no comparison, according to Kayla, between what Theo and Whitley had done. Kayla stated that Theo was a wonderful person and that Colin and Whitley were the only ones to blame for Abe's illness. At the hospital, a U.S. Marshal introduced himself as Sam Gerard to Lani and Eli. Sam stated that he would accompany Lani back to Maryland prison. Lani requested if she might say her final goodbyes to Abe. Paulina was overjoyed when Abe awakened in his hospital room. Abe stated that he had forgotten about Paulina and inquired as to where his wife was. Paulina claimed to be Abe's wife, but Abe denied knowing Paulina. Whitley had pretended to be Paulina and had kidnapped Abe, according to Paulina. On her phone, Paulina showed Abe their wedding portrait. Abe stated that he had a dream in which Paulina was his wife, but he had no idea who Paulina was. And I certainly don't remember our love, Abe continued. Thea walked in, relieved that Abe was awake. Abe was perplexed, believing that Thea was Brandon and Jerry was Theo. Whitley had recruited Jerry as an actor to play Theo, according to Paulina. Lunny entered Ava's room a short time later. It's you, Ava exclaimed. Aid remembered Lunny going to save him, but he said he had no memories of Lunny as his daughter. Eli came in and informed Abe that he was Lunny's husband. Eli went on to say that he and Abe were not just family, but also friends. Eli hugged Abe and told him how much he loved him. Abe thanked Eli for his generosity. Eli looked at Lunny and told her that the two of them needed to leave. Lunny told Abe in an emotional speech that she had obligations to fulfill, but that she would return to see him shortly. Lunny kissed Abe farewell and kissed him again. Lunny then hugged Paulina and Theo and told them how much she loved them. Lunny mentioned that she would be eligible for parole in six months. Ellie declared that the next time he and Lunny visited Salem, it would be for good. Then Eli and Lani went to the elevator and left with Sam. As the elevator door closed, Theo became emotional. Back in Abe's room, Kayla advised him not to exert himself in an attempt to restore his memory. Kayla went on to say that everyone in Salem adored Abe and that the entire town supported him. Marina paid a visit to Whitley, who had been brought into police custody, in the interview room at the Salem police station, Whitley only recognized Marlena from body and soul as Charlemagne. Marlena introduced herself as a psychiatrist, and Whitley was her patient. Whitley, Marlena reasoned, had kidnapped Abe in order to replace her husband. Marlena was adamant that Whitley was not Paulina. 
However, I don't want to be Whitley King. That means I murdered my husband. It means I'm a terrible person. It means I don't have anything to live for, Whitley said. Whitley, according to Marlena, was in a lot of agony and needed assistance. Marlena went on to say that Whitley had been through a horrific trauma, and she wanted to be the one to help. Whitley pondered how she'd ever make amends for what she'd done to Abe and his family. Whitley, according to Marlena, deserved assistance. Paulina had just entered the interrogation room. Paulina revealed that Abe had forgotten about her. Whitley apologized and asked if there was anything she could do to assist. Whitley was taken aback when Paulina slapped her across the face. You're free to shut your blasted mouth. I'm not interested in hearing anything you have to say, Paulina stated. Marlena informed Paulina that she needed to go. All right, all right. I'll go. But I just want this jerk to understand that she can't reverse all the harm she's done that I'm sorry. It's going to require a lot more than that. A whole lot more. Do you hear what I'm saying? Whitley was yelled at by Paulina. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.